Um, good morning, everyone. I'm Iris from Class 7A. Today, I'm going to share with you my story of the journey to discover the passion and talent for piano. First, I have a question for you guys. Do you have any hobbies or passion for something? Do you think that you are born with talent? First, let's define passion. Passion refers to a strong feeling of enthusiasm or excitement. Liking something and being passionate for something are slightly different. The things we like, which are our hobbies, can change, as we humans change. But passion doesn't change. Whether you are eight years old or even 80 years old, it is still a part of your life. Now I will tell my story. When I was little, I was an extremely shy girl, afraid of meeting people other than my family. I watched many piano recitals around the world and I loved them. I loved the way they play, the hand techniques, everything. So I decided to learn piano at the age of five. Then after two years, I felt so depressed, so down. It was challenging controlling my hands because playing the piano required both hands and it's so easy to get distracted. I was also struggle with music appreciation, which means the way we feel, the way we understand the music. It demands the deepness, the complexity, and the broad understanding of techniques. Now, do you think that I will continue on my journey or give up? For me, I gave up. However, my parents still encouraged me. They said, don't give up. If you cannot do it today, that's okay. If you cannot do it tomorrow, that's okay. If you cannot do it next week, that's okay. But if you practice persistently, you will definitely be able to do it in 10 or 20 more years. People get upset and give up easily when something bad happens because they always expect everything to be perfect, to be smooth and rosy. They just see that the efforts won't help them improve anything today or tomorrow. They don't have the patience to wait until those efforts will eventually create a miracle, the success. The most important thing is to keep going and to never give up. Whatever happens and happens will happen and the result will not disappoint you. Then I successfully overcame that depression, but other challenges came. The challenge of performing on the stage, participating in the contest. The first time I participated in a contest, I trembled and didn't perform well. Then I cried when I got home. I blamed myself for spending so much time practicing carefully and smoothly, but not being able to show the ability thoroughly on the stage. After that, I asked my teacher, before, did you tremble when you were on the stage? He answered, of course, but now I'm used to it. People experience stage fright whenever they are on the stage in front of the audience. That is human nature. You have to keep doing and doing, then you will gradually overcome that fear and find it normal. And a year later, I participated in another contest. It is called um, ABRSM, a British Piano Certification Exam. It was online, so I, need, I just needed to record a video and sent it online to them. 
without having to perform on the stage and being able to film the videos over and over again still made me nervous. It took me around five hours a day for four days to get a perfect three minute video. Every time I record, there was an error. Sometimes it was wrong here, sometimes it was wrong there. It was really hard to shoot a perfect one. Then my parents and I sat together and talked. My dad said, when doing everything, people always expect themselves to do the best. It then creates an even more harmful pressure. The more pressure you have, the worse you do. The more comfortable you are, the better you can do. Just relax and try your best. And a year later, I participated again for the ABRSM. This time, I was really happy because I just needed to spend two days to finish filming and the result was a distinction. At that moment, I realized that I understood the profound meaning of what my parents said before. Currently, I practice the piano every day. If there's a day when I'm busy with work or traveling and don't play the piano, I feel like something is missing. The sound of piano is like something that gives me more energy. Now, piano is a part of my life. Back then, I was so young, so I didn't know if I have any passion for piano or not. Only now do I realize my passion for it. Next August, I'm taking the entrance test to the secondary course of uh, Ho Chi Minh City Conservatory of Music. It's the door that opens the opportunity to the professional path of piano. With great passion and effort, I believe that I can make it. At this moment, standing here on the stage, have already been my success. Even though my journey of piano is not so related to giving a talk on the stage, it teaches me a lot. The confidence, the patience, the effort, valuable lessons, understanding more about myself. And so do you. If you go on your journey, you are making your life more interesting. All in all, life is like a stock market. There are the ups and downs, the happiness and sadness, the satisfaction and disappointment. That's normal. As long as just keep pushing on. The more you push, the closer your day of success will come. I can do it, so there is no reason why you cannot do it. Thank you.